People are gonna think I'm crying. Oh God, it's just really bright out here. What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day thus far. Today is going to be such a banger video. I'm doing a video idea I've had for sweat, sweat, for sweat a long time. I'm doing a video idea I've had for quite a long time. I'm sorry if I'm squinting a lot as well. There's the sun right there. It's really bright. But anyways, today, if you guys couldn't tell from the title and thumbnail, we are going to be seeing if Flex Tape, the tape of Flex, the tape where Phil Swift approves of its durability. Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Tape. But long story short, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting an old frame I have directly in half. This is a frame where I've already cut into it for a recent video where I cut open a 30-year-old frame and compared it to this new frame. Look at that. Insane. We're gonna cut the frame in half and then we're gonna flex tape it back together and hopefully that the bike is still rideable afterwards. I've seen a whole bunch of videos of people using flex tape for boats, for... I've seen many YouTube videos of people using flex tape in some extraordinary ways and it looks incredibly strong and I've used it myself for patching a tube and it looks... it seems like it would work. So without further ado, we are going to head over to Target and get this flex tape. Niggas give me the cold shoulder, I can speak for myself. So I keep a hot waist and alligator the belt and got a belt with the holster. This is more car parts. But really quickly before I drive off, I'm just gonna make sure that I got everything. Please? Alright. Okay. Oh wow, they come with lanyards. Sick. Oh, uh, nearly every single time I order from this website. Something doesn't get delivered, something doesn't get shipped, this, that, the other thing, so I'm just double checking everything's here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, dokie, now we can go get the flex tape. Alright, so to do this, we need to do quite a bit of things, which is why I changed my shirt, because the other one, if you guys ever wore Thrasher, it's thick, okay? It's a thick boy, so we need to change it to a shirt that's a little bit more thin. It's hot out today. But anyways, to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to take every single little last part off this bike and we're going to transfer over to that frame. I know there's going to be a few complications in this and that is I'm not going to have a seat unless I could figure out a way to finagle something, but the seat is definitely an issue and the cranks. The cranks I have on my bike are 19 millimeter spindle. The bearing size on that one is a 21 or 22. And I believe that this is a mid and that's European or whatever they call it, the smaller Spanish, I don't even know. So we can't just transfer over bottom brackets, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to finagle like a little wedge inside that little spindle to make up that little space because you guys will see what I'm talking about later, but for the most part, we're gonna crack into us and get going. We have figured out our seat problem. I found like an old ragtag seat in the garage. So we're going to uh, slip this bit boy on. The Frankenstein build is completed and it, uh, well, it flexes quite a bit when you step on it. Yeah, she flexes quite a bit. The cranks are as expected, really loose. The back wheel seems really solid. Front wheel, the whole front setup is really solid. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty proud of myself on that. The seat is some ragtag seat off a Walmart bike, and there is a giant hole missing in this frame. I have no idea where the other side of this little dumahingy went to. But hopefully the flex tape is able to hold this part together pretty nicely. Alrighty, so we are pretty much ready to, uh, come on. Cut this frame open. Now in the last video, we did not have a Dremel. This time we have a Dremel, so it's gonna make our lives whole 100% easier. So here's what we're going to do. We're literally just going to cut the frame entirely in half, put the flex tape around it, and see how it goes. Now we're obviously going to put way more flex tape on the top too because it has that massive gap in it, but uh, I think it's going to work out good. I think it is. So if you guys haven't already, go down below and leave a comment down below of what you guys think is going to happen. Leave your prediction down below if you guys think this is going to work, be solid, be stable. Just go down below and leave a comment down below of what you guys think. And while you guys are at it, go down below and drop a fat subscribe. You guys clicked on this video for a crazy little experiment to see what would happen if we flex taped our bike that's in half back together. And a uh, long story short, we do a whole lot of experiments on this channel, so go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be notified when I post a video like this or any video in general. So without further ado, let's get it. And 
and bam just like that she is cut and completed so now the next step is to grab the flex tape that is over here all the way over here in here all right now we can open this bad boy and bam there she is now the only next step is to uh tape my frame this might be easier if we just flip these over okay so this is actually way harder than i thought we're gonna have to use a lot of this they seem like a good idea in my head, okay? It's definitely, you know, it, this could ride, okay? What am I saying? It's all taped together. We used uh, one roll of flex tape. Um, yeah, <laughs> she seems solid. Okay. Oh, right, right, okay. Okay. I look like a mad scientist right now, but <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll flex tape hold this frame. I'm uh, starting to doubt this a lot now. I'm actually starting to doubt it so much that I don't think that that Phil Swift guy was able to take this onto the water. When he when he flex sealed that boat together, it looked pretty solid. This does not look pretty solid. I'm gonna step on this really quickly and see what happens. Honest to God, I'm just gonna fall flat to the ground. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fall flat to the ground, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Let's see how this works. It's like I'm riding a lowrider bike. I'm almost 400% sure this is going to drop straight to the ground. Maybe if I just ease on it. Okay. Okay. So that did not work. Maybe if we just jump straight on it. No. Okay, maybe if we jump on it one more time. Oh, it rolled. It indeed rolled. Oh, it rolled. I literally just have to push up. As soon as I jump on it. No. Are you serious? No. I want a personal apology from Phil Swift. This, you know, I could have been doing my homework or something. But no. So it looks like the actual flex tape just ripped right on off. So as you guys can see in this clip right here, we were actually able to ride the bike for like a foot, maybe even two feet. Now just based on that foot, that little foot, of the amount it rolled. It definitely seems like it could hold up pretty strong if we do a better job at this and if we don't have a giant gap in the top tube and along with the fact that there's not a whole bike in half. This definitely could be a great alternative than going to a shop and having your bike welded and re-welded if your frame ever cracks. It seems like if you ever get a crack in your top tube or wherever, if you put flex tape on it, I think it could last a little bit longer and save you a whole bunch of money instead of having your frame welded or even buying a new frame. Now, of course, this is not going to allow your frame to last forever with that giant crack, but it will allow you to get a little bit more life out of that frame. It definitely feels pretty strong when we rode for that foot that little tiny foot. So I think that we are onto something. I think that this could definitely help a lot of people out, especially if they're out there riding street and their frame cracks right away and they're just, they're screwed. Just pick up a roll of flex tape, wrap it around the crack really tightly, and you could be good for the rest of the session. So leave a vote right here if your guys' prediction was correct or incorrect. One thing you guys need to keep in mind is that flex tape is a rubberized tape. It's rubber, completely rubber. Now how Swift, Swift Phil how Phil Swift was able to take that boat, cut it in half, and still ride in the after, I have no idea. That's definitely some movie production Hollywood stuff, but like I said, this is rubber. It's not like some crazy plastic tape. It's rubber, so it bends. It flexes. It's flex tape. The other day, I was pulling out of a parking lot, like some small little parking lot, but the curbs that they had for these parking lots with like the plants in the middle, they had like these, I don't know what it was, but they had these little, well, not so little curbs. They're actually really tall, but for some reason, I parked and I went to go pull out of the parking lot and I guess there was a giant curb right next to me that I didn't see and I, I like literally slammed right into it. Like, just slammed. Maybe I'm overreacting a little bit. I didn't slam into it, but I pulled away and then I heard, like, I heard the noise. I heard the noise of my car rubbing up against the curb. And immediately, literally immediately, I backed up. I'm like, okay, this, that did not sound good. So I thought it was just my wheels bending, which I wasn't really caring because I'm getting new wheels anyways. But what ended up happening was the whole entire side skirt fell off my car and the whole, like, literally the entire car just, like, bent. 
I'll show you. So I fixed it quite a bit. I even put a band-aid over the part where it was really broken. But as you guys can see from under here, this whole, like this is all broken right here. And uh, it was really bent. So if you guys can see it, it's actually a little bent. But what I did was I drilled holes in the bottom of this and I literally took a screwdriver and plopped it back out. And it fixed it for the most part, but there's still some, like a little bit of remnants still there. Definitely one of the dumbest things I've done yet and I am not happy about that. Not happy whatsoever. But on another note, that definitely gives me motivation to wide body this car at some point and get some crazy side skirts. You're gonna get some Clipperunos? Absolutely. Get some Clipperunos since I can't get Clipperunos, so you have to get the Clipperunos. Okay. There you go. I was literally just in the area just driving around and I saw these, these over here, so. Yeah, we're here now. I know. You're, you're making me sad. I make myself sick. Would it be easier just do a 180 flat? Probably. Yeah, just do that then. What are you slacking? <laughs> okay. Keep it. Ah. Oh. I just got done filming a whole bunch of videos for the second channel. I already went over the fact that it looks like I'm on a casting couch. Definitely has been a long day. But while I have the lights set up and everything, I figured why not end off this video right here. So really quickly, I'm going to end this video off on a pretty positive note. Right here is my high school yearbook. Now I'm not just bringing this out because I'm going to show you guys everybody that I hate and like and everybody that I'm not going to show you any of that nonsense. I don't know how my senior year went. No signatures here. No signatures here. I was uh, very to myself all senior year and just grinding out. I bring this up because I don't want to, I'm not going to sit here and razzle dazzle you guys with nonsense. I'm actually bringing this out. I'm bringing this up because I never really put it in a video the fact of what my senior quote was. And I was going to do this a couple months ago when everybody else was graduating. But I actually forgot to make a video about it a while ago. So I figured just throw in a quick little segment in this video. I'm getting like slowly distracted right now. You know, even after the first year of high school, you just see who uh, took the wrong path in life and who's really going to make it and who's not. But anyways, so here's my high school quote right here. I quoted it on Dave Mira, obviously. I was going to pick between a whole bunch of stupid things. I was going to pick it between like a Wiz Khalifa quote or something like that. But I thought and I thought and I thought and I already have like these moods where sometimes I'll like feel really goofy and then the other times I'll feel really sophisticated and business-like. I'm pretty sure a lot of people can see that on Instagram. One post will be like super sophisticated, like go check out my newest video, the yada yada, this, that, the other thing. And then the other photo will be me doing a man spread. So I'm very in between the two. And I guess during the time of me picking out my yearbook quote, I was very, very professional. So I picked the Dave Mirror quote. And uh, seriously, rest in peace, Dave Mirror. When he passed away, I painted my pedals gold and I like did a whole tribute video and I went to his skate park that he used to ride when he grew up and I did a whole bunch of stuff when he passed away and I figured this was just perfect just to I figured it was perfect. It was like the only like it was like the only quote that really stuck out with me and like really I was like wow I need to do this. But anyways this quote is definitely a quote that I'll live to till the day I die. I mean Dave Muir was definitely a legend and he's done so much for the BMX community and you know, I figured I'd end this video off on a positive note, but it's actually not so positive. It's turning into not so positive, okay? <laughs> and all these memories, I honestly, like, I doesn't even feel like I'm talking to a camera right now, but... Alright, we're done. I need to close this shit up. But anyways, the flex tape. Like, honestly, this worked out a little bit better than what I was anticipating. Because flex tape is a rubberized tape, I thought that, you know, rubberized tape, you would think that it wouldn't even hold the frame because it's rubber, it's thick, it doesn't have a solid feel to it, it stretches a lot as well, it doesn't have, it's very elastic, that's the word I'm trying to look for, it's elastic. So I figured, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be able to hold it up, but you know I saw a video of Phil Swift using it as a boat, so I figured it could work, it could, and it didn't. Very shocked about it, but it's whatever. But anyways, in last case scenario type ordeals, flex tape could definitely save you in the long run instead of having to pay like $400 for your frame to get welded or 
however much it is. I really don't know. $400 is probably a little steep. So that if you guys seem to enjoy this video, then I can't stress enough. Go on below, leave a fat like and fat subscribe. If you guys clicked on this video for a crazy little experiment. We do a whole lot of those on this channel. So down below, leave a fat like and subscribe. You guys already know the drill. And while you guys are at it, go leave a notification bell ring because YouTube is broken and it doesn't notify anybody when I post a video. So with that, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sharing because I already know you guys shared this video if you liked it. And with that, share with friends, share with homies, share with dogs, share with cats, share with friends, hum mom, share it with your Uncle Bethany, and share it with your neighborhood. Also, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.